right, guys. So today is Saturday. So today marks day seven. It has been a full week of moving things. Uh, I had a bunch of furniture I had to put together. I've assembled, assembled my desk. My computer is now on it. So we're starting to look like we're, we're, we're nearing the finish line. But there's one last step, and it is the biggest step. Uh, today, I'm going to bring over all of my comics, all my omnibus, all my hardcovers, all my single issues, all my trade paperbacks. I'm going to bring them over. I'm going to try to populate these shelves. I'm probably going to find out that at least one of my shelves is already outgrown because that's the nature of collecting and this type of hobby. But I'm determined that today this room is going to be completed. Now, there are some onesie twosie items still at the old place. Um, there's some cleanup that needs to be done there. But today, this room is going to be done. It's going to take me several trips in my little Toyota Corolla sedan. Luckily, I'm only driving about 15 minutes down the road there and back. So, but it's getting done. You're going to see it all. Well, I just might have picked the worst day to do this. You see how like immaculate this lighting is and there's no harsh shadows on my face? That's because it's crazy cloudy outside. It, it looks like it's probably gonna be a rainy day. Um, I'm hoping that these are just like summer showers and that they pass soon because if it's like a torrential downpour, there's no way I'm taking my comic books outside. Um, but in the meantime, what I will go ahead and do is just move all the boxes downstairs so I can make these trips to the car as short as possible. So that's how we're gonna work this out. All right, guys, so this is the wall of books we are moving. I just counted and we have between these art boxes and those kind of stacked along the floor over there, we have 21 short boxes just full of single issues. Um, and that doesn't count the one I put in the car or the three that are already at the new place. Um, somehow I thought I only had 15 short boxes. So there's that. And then also we have hardcovers. Um, oh, well, that Ultimate X-Men, that's one. So that's 22 short boxes of single issues. And then on the hardcovers, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven short boxes full of omnibus standard hardcovers and other oversized hardcovers. So um, we're in for an incredible day of lifting. I brought my shoulders with me. I don't know if they'll come home with me. And uh, yeah, yeah, this is going to be fun. Say what's up to LeBron. Uh, LeBron's at home with me watching the playoffs, unfortunately. But uh, yeah. All right, so we're actually, we're really close. We're almost done with all the single issues. Um, but one thing I am trying to be conscious of is I don't want to stack the omnibus boxes on top of the single issue boxes, just because I know they're heavier. So I'm going to go ahead and put a row of omnis right there. And then I'll probably put the rest of the single issues on top of those. And um, we'll see what's left to grab once we're done with that. All right, so real quick before I um, start moving things, just wanted to show you guys how I packed up the Omnibus um, because I did kind of just decide at the last minute to just go ahead and do go full short box. Um, so I know that doing it this way without wrapping the books first, um, I'm certainly like at risk of damaging my dust jackets. Um, but I was just willing to take that risk because you know, in the interest of time, wrapping up all of these hardcovers just wasn't something I was going to be able to do. But I put them all in the short boxes. Some of them I packed really deep. Some of them I put like some bubble wrap on either side to make the box lighter. And then on the inside of each lid, I put a thin layer of bubble wrap. Um, it's actually kind of just two layers deep um, of the small bubble, bubble wrap. Um, and this is just in case they are uh, stacked if a box like slides around, like I didn't want, I, I'm just trying to minimize damage to the dust jackets. Haven't seen that this would actually prevent anything, but it seems to, to be working and it's given me peace of mind. So, and I had a million rolls of this laying around. So 
There we go. So that's how I packed up the Omnis. Now let's get them in the car. Just look at this. <laughs> so it has been overcast like that the entire time that I've been doing this packing. And as soon as I'm almost done, I got like two boxes left that'll fit in the car. And this is what the sky looks like. But I'm not complaining because I didn't get rained on. The books didn't get rained on. Everything's safe and dry. And I got all this done before the heat of the day sets in. So early to rise and something, something, something else. All right. We are at La Casa de Kicks. It is time to put in work. I just wanted you guys to see how masterfully I tried to pack this car. There's, I mean, there's a bit of space waste. Like I probably could have fit a short box in that little crevice there, but then I would have risked like bumping it and stuff like that. So we got four, but I mean, we got a bunch of short boxes. So now I'm going to put all these in my living room and then dart off so that I can try to get this car loaded and done before it gets hot outside. So I'll uh, check with you later. All right, that, this was the whole first car load. I don't, I don't remember, I didn't realize I was able to get that much in the car. So wall of comics, now we're on the way to get the rest of the wall of comics and we'll be done with this part, exciting. So, I just got home to unload the last five short boxes. That's all that was left of the other house. And um, got here and my computer wasn't working. Like my mouse and keyboard wasn't working. I was like, that's weird. So I hit a restart, plug them into a different um, USB port. I was like, okay, cool. I noticed immediately that my desktop looks different. Windows installed some sort of an update and it pretty much bricked all of my peripherals. So I go to hit the restart, like, okay, maybe it didn't like set, changes didn't take effect the right way or whatever. I restart and now I'm getting is like a blank screen. I'm like, I don't know what this Windows update did, but my computer is not doing anything right now. Yeah, it's crazy. Like no matter how, if you're unmotivated, like, no matter how simple or easy a task is like, you just don't care to do it. Like, I don't care to bring those other three short boxes out of the car. Like right now, all I want to do is figure out what's wrong with my computer. And I'm frustrated right now. So if you're seeing this video, that means it resolved itself because I couldn't edit or upload this video without my computer. But in the moment, I am very frustrated. All right, guys, so we've come to the moment of truth. Moment we've all been waiting for. This room is about Mm. 50, 60 percent done. Um, but we got some shelves to populate. So I moved all the shell, I moved all the books, excuse me, from old residents. They are now downstairs in my living room, waiting to be carried one by one into the uh, what are we calling this? Headquarters, command center. Uh, but anyway. They're going to make it into this room. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot some time lapse footage and you guys will get to see me putting every single box of books in the house. So that'll be fun. And here we are. So we're starting, of course, with the single issues. And let me say this was the moment when I realized just how many comic books I have, because each short box was just about full. And I know that a short box can hold anywhere from 100 to 150 comic books uh so yeah i was definitely taken aback by just how many books i had how heavy they were and how quickly this shelf got filled now that was intense i, I broke out of sweat and everything i wish it was as quick as it looks on the little time lapse video but that was rough i'm still still catching my breath but uh so Funny story. Well, all the short boxes, as you can see, are in the room now, but something interesting. So I was trying to every time like I'm, I'm, I'm carrying these boxes up and like I'm trying to get this mental picture of, OK, this box needs to go exactly here on the shelves. And, you know, it's working for a second until it's not. And then I realized, like, OK, what's the problem? I'm, or I'm trying to figure out what's the problem, um, because at one point. I could tell you exactly what was in 
every single short box that I have. Like, oh no, that one is DC from 1990 to 2002. And this one is, like, I was that meticulous with it. And I thought that my shelves or my boxes were still in that same type of order. They are not. When my daughter was born in March, uh, we moved out of uh, my mother's house and into my in-law's house. And in that time period, I have a bunch of books that just went unsorted. And instead of like sorting them and trying to put them in the right spot or whatever, I just kept buying more boxes. So I have several boxes that are kind of placeholder boxes. And when I look inside, there are books from like the last two to three months of comic releases that never got sorted. So some of those boxes back there are like half full. Some of them are all the way full. Some of them are boxes that I know aren't going to continue, so they probably won't stay on that shelf. They'll probably move into the closet or some other place where they don't need to be seen every day. But yeah, which is interesting that I thought all these things were in order and they were not. Uh, but now, now it's time for the harder part of this. Luckily, I don't have nearly as many short boxes full of omnibus as I did single issues, but it's time to go ahead and carry those up and bring them or put them in their respective shelves. So uh, let's do it. All right. So we're going to start off with the Marvel Omnibus um, right off the bat. <laughs> I'm already running out of shelf space. Uh, so I started, I started out with the trade paperbacks on the bottom and we quickly are going to find that that is not an adequate solution. Um, I was happy about just how organized I was able to keep the Omnis. Uh, so everything pretty much goes on the shelf in its proper order unless I picked it up after I packed, if that makes any sense. Uh, so yeah, that part was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, here we are with a full shelf. Yeah, I'm already out of space on the Marvel shelf um, with one, maybe like two and a half short boxes worth of trades and oversized hardcovers left over. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, for now, let's move on to DC, shall we? All right, now for the DC shelf. Now, I knew I had more DC books than anything else. I didn't realize how many DC books I had. It's like that whole top row is Batman going into the second shelf on the bottom row. So now I'm reshuffling so that it's all Batman on the top and the rest of the DC on the other shelves. But yeah, I love how Omnis look on shelves, but I hate that I'm already running out of shelf space so quickly. I love these Eagle Moss books, but I'm going to have to find another place for them. I just have to. All right. It's been a long day. I'm down to the last box of DC hardcovers. As you can see, I've been out of shelf space for, for a while. I got quite, that's a ridiculous amount of books. Um, the good thing is the overflow shelf, I haven't even put anything over there yet. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to do it because basically these books are gonna take over the overflow shelf. But anyway. Hey kids, it's me again with another voiceover pretty much just to tell you that I am out of shelf space. Like, look at this, I'm already stacking books on the floor. All right guys, so I've run out of shelf space um, with the exception of the overflow shelf, but I've got a few ideas as far as how to best use the remaining space. So I'm not gonna try to populate that overflow shelf just yet, I'm gonna, there's some other things I got going on, but um, this is going to be my stopping point for the day. I'm going to go ahead and run to the hospital, see my daughter, and tomorrow, Sunday, uh, Sunday, we will finally end this saga. Um, and I'm excited about that. Um, it's a lot of books, bro. It's a lot of books. It's just, that's what I've learned today. I have way more books than I know what to do with. And I don't know when this happened. 